Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Expine TV. I'm Nate Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Let's take a relaxing brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth and hold again. Great! This time let's do it together. Breathe in and hold and then breathe out and hold again. That was so calming. Now let's see what happened today in history with Hadassah. Thank you, Ania. Hey, Patriots. Today in history on June 2nd, 1875, the first sound transmission was made. This was done by inventors Alexander Graham, Bell, and Thomas Watson. Sound transmission is the movement of sound through an object or over a large space. Months after their discovery, Bell and Watson invented the first telephone. Did you know the first sound transmission was made by an accident? This happened when Bell was working on a new machine and attempted to retrieve a reed, or a thin metal blade that he had lost. When he grabbed the reed, it made a noise and that could be heard throughout his office. Wow, who would have thought that a simple noise would lead to the creation of phones today? Now let's see what's on today's menu with Sarma. Thank you, Odasa. Today's tasty lunch is cheese and pepperoni pizza, turkey and cheese sandwich, garden salad, carrot sticks, fruit cocktail, and your choice in milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time. It's an RSBN lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Zemel. Scholars, this is your sectional software challenge ends today. By now, you guys have all completed those lessons in order to fit the requirements. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. We know this year is ending, but it's still important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. This also means chewing gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Yearbooks are still on sale on myschoolbox.com for $45. Make sure to order yours before it sell out. Students, remember the Patriot store is open every morning. On Monday morning, it is the first and second graders' turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. Congratulations again to our eighth grade students. I hope your graduation ceremony was memorable. Let's see what the weather looks like today with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather will be a warm 85 degrees with thunderstorms. Make sure to bring an umbrella to stay dry. In other weather news, did you know you can determine the temperature by using crickets? It will be easier to use your smartphone, although this will still be a fun experiment to conduct. Crickets use a method called stridulation to attract females that are ready to mate. When crickets chirp, they rub their wings together. This creates a pulse, which is an impact by temperature. They chirp faster in warmer temperatures and slower in colder temperatures. You can determine the temperature by counting the number of chirps you hear in 14 seconds and adding 40 to it. For example, if a cricket chirps 40 times in 14 seconds, then the temperature would be 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This method does seem interesting and fun to use, but I think I'll only use it in the desperate situation. Now let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Jasmine. Today's birthday boys and girls are Valentina Duran, Yasin Hamed, Malcolm Sylvester, and Jaden Dean Baptiste. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Mia. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents 
present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools about respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Arnold, Ms. Michaels, and Ms. Gray. You are the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what does DC stand for? The correct answer was Detective Commons. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Which animal has no bones in its body? Teachers, please send your answers to plans.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on IPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, her plans were going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!